Hey guys, welcome back to this video. This video I'm going to be showing you how to modify your GUI because, um, you know, if you're going to start the GUI and then screen GUI and then you insert a frame, you're like, whoa, mom, dad, I made a frame. But I'm like, no, because you can make it way easier. So, to do that, it's quite easy. I'm first going to show you the easy way and then I'm going to show you the hard way. But it's just useful for, um, like the pro scripters out here. So what we can do is insert a screen GUI. I need to insert a image label, and an image label is like a a like like frame, but you can insert your own image in it. So if you scroll down to image, you're gonna type rbx asset id colon slash slash six zero five seven four zero three three eight as you can see you got your gui now we're gonna do it i'm just gonna put it in the middle real quick and i'm gonna make it like a bit more bigger because i like to do that uh it has to be the other way by the way, make sure your background transparency is 1. So you can see already we, the, we got the edges cut off. And I'm going to actually make this a 3. And now you got your roundified um, GUI. But what you also can do is like now you can assert a text label and make it like, uh, I don't know, 0, 0 0.5, comma 0, comma 0, comma 0. And then you can do 0 5, 0 5, and you can just do 1, 1, 1 la, 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 just the usual stuff you do. And then you can do like, uh, this is my image label, and I know I spelled that wrong. But as you can see, it fits perfectly, and yeah. But you can also do it the hard way. You can also remove this. And then you can type in here a local script. Uh, and we can do something like... I don't know, let's do something. So now you just <clears throat> got nothing. So you're gonna go to a local script and you're gonna type, uh, what is that? We're gonna type something like uh, local asset ID is equal to your ID. So what you gotta do is copy your ID again. RBX asset ID on slash slash I'm just gonna type it real quick so we don't get into trouble like that and you can do wait uh, 15 seconds uh, well actually we're first gonna get our variables so variables local image labels because the script the parent dot image label image label dot image is equals to asset ID. So what we're doing here is you got your asset ID. Main mechanic. And what we're doing is um, this is our asset ID and this is our image label. So script.parent, script.parent.image label. And it's gonna, the game's gonna wait for 15 seconds. Then it's gonna refer it to image label. So script.parent and it's gonna scroll down by itself to image. You know, this is our variable, so it's gonna put the variable in here. Let's test this out. <clears throat> and I did 15 seconds because my Wi Fi is actually the trashiest in the world. Yes, and I am not lying about that. So if we wait for 15 seconds, the GUI should appear. And there you go, there's our GUI, and uh, that this is kind of the hard way because you're doing it with a script. Um, yeah, but this is how to modify your GUI. So instead of like a block, you can now do round GUIs, which is absolutely great. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. It's hopefully part 14 of the jailbreak series, I will think of it, and um, get back to you soon. Stay safe and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Goodbye.